Recording okay. Uh, good morning, everyone. Thank you for being here on this Saturday with me. Um, I'm here to talk to you about the Miller sidewalk improvements and uh, have a brief presentation, which go through, and then uh, would like to answer questions at the end if you have any. Here's my uh, information. My name is Charles DeBrell. I'm the senior project manager in the Transportation and Public Works Department. I <clears throat> um, also wanted to uh, take a minute to introduce uh, that we have two council districts, number five and number eight, and Councilwoman Miss Bivens is on with us. And I am not sure if Councilwoman Miss Gray is here, but I'd like to take a minute to pause and allow them an opportunity to say something. <laughs> Thank you, Charles. I only have my mic open, but I just want to say thank you to at least the one citizen we know is, is on this call. And I now understand why Jeffrey records all of them, no matter how small the audience. Uh, I didn't get my robocall until last night. So Jeffrey and I have a, a plan to work on that so that the release is sooner. But for the sake of the recording, I want the public to know that often the improvements we make are driven by what citizens tell us. And so I'm hoping before you end the call, Charles, you can put in the chat box the best way TPW likes to receive those requests for sidewalks or just general street repairs, because too often people will call and forget who they called. But I know you guys have a real systematic way of receiving those requests. So. That's the only thing I have to say, and thank you for your time on your off day, all of the staff. So thank you. Good morning. Trey, you are muted. Okay, I don't know how that happened. I'm back now. Thank you, Mary. Hey, uh, thanks, Ms. Bivens, and we will uh, post in the chat uh, a way for people to share their comments about this project or infrastructure needs in general around the city. Um, let's see here. So the purpose of the meeting is to provide overview of the plan improvements and the construction schedule. Our agenda is, is simple. Uh, I'll share with you the project limits, some of the existing conditions, uh, the project scope and the construction schedule for time at the end to answer any questions. Uh, the project limits are uh, along Miller Avenue on both sides from Mansfield Highway to Chicksaw Avenue. And you can see that here on this map. Um, we will be replacing sections of older sidewalk. Also we'll be constructing new sidewalks where they don't exist to fill the gaps. We also will replace some older ADA ramps and install new ones. And then there are some driveways that will be replaced as well. Here's some pictures of the existing conditions where sidewalks or do not exist and ADA ramps do not exist. So you can see that we'll be coming through here with a new sidewalk and ADA ramp. Here's some additional existing conditions in front of some of the residences showing mailboxes and street lights that will be uh, maneuvering between the back of curb and the right of way along the fence to avoid those items. Uh, on the right side, you can see an older section of sidewalk that is uh, in need of replacement. Here are some pictures of what the new improvements will look like when they're finished. Uh, we do, in addition to the sidewalks, we are installing bus pads. Um, and you can see that on the left. On the right is an example of an ADA ramp. Uh, again, on the left is another bus pad location with a sidewalk running along the right of way. And then on the right is an example of a sidewalk that has some low curb on the back to help with the grading issues. <clears throat> Uh, construction is set to begin on March 1st, and it is a 180-day construction 
process, which we expect to wrap up and have uh, all the items completed in October. Again, here's my contact information. I'll leave that up for a minute for any of you that want to write that down. Um, or you can always contact the city uh, Fort Worth and ask for transportation public works and ask for me and that'll that'll get you there to me. <clears throat> uh, before I go to questions, I also wanted to talk about um, once we start, uh, we may have some delays depending on weather, which is something we're unable to control. Uh, also wanted you to know that when the contractor will be working in front of your property, uh, that he will place a door hanger seven days prior to being in that location. And the door hanger, it will have the inspector's name and the contractor's name and contact information for you so that you can contact them and talk to them about any concerns you have. <clears throat> uh, with that, uh, I'll open it up for questions. Hello, Charles. My name is Jonathan Guadian. I'm a resident of the Glen Park neighborhood, also a member of the Glen Park Neighborhood Association. Uh, one of the biggest concerns that my neighborhood association has uh, had in the past couple of, uh, well, past couple of years is the uh, situation with lack of access to ADA ramps and uh, sidewalks in our neighborhood. So looking at the map uh, for the proposed construction, um, I couldn't tell if uh, the side on, uh, well, M Miller Avenue and uh, the intersection of Miller Avenue and <clears throat> Pierce Street, uh, there are, uh, a, there's an apartment complex right in front of uh, that intersection of Miller Avenue and Pierce Streets. Uh, there's a bus stop there, and uh, there exists uh, a sidewalk that runs parallel to that bus stop, but uh, upon inspection of it, uh, I didn't see any ADA accessibility accessible ramp to it, which, of course, is very concerning for many of our neighbors who um, would need access to such a structure. Uh, so. Uh, do you know if uh, that uh, area is going to be open for improvement as well? I, I couldn't tell from the map app. From what I saw, only one side of Pierce and Miller Avenue was going to be uh, improved uh, improved on. Um, <clears throat> if we want to take time and open the plans, I could I could do that further. Um, take a minute to to figure that out and then call you back if that's okay. But um, I am familiar with the area in front of the apartments. We will have sidewalks and ADA ramps coming in and out of that location. And the bus stop is uh, is being improved there. So um, what is your phone number, sir? If you don't mind, I'd like to look up further into that and then circle back to you if that's okay. Yeah, of course. It's 682-559-3157. Okay. And uh, if it's okay, I'll do that once we get off this meeting and I'll call you here shortly after uh, we get off the phone call and we can go through that. Yeah, of course, that works. Thank you. Welcome. Hey there, I have a question. Okay. This is uh, Rachel Albright with the Tarrant Transit Alliance, and we're working on a project in that um, in that neighborhood. And I'm just curious, which um, on which side of the street and uh, north, south, east, west will you be beginning construction? Um, we are. We will need to meet with the contractor in order to determine what his plan is. Um, we typically. Um, uh, I would, I would need, again, I would need to take your phone number and information and have meetings with the contractor next week and find out where they're going to begin and, and probably circle back and give you an answer on that, if that's okay. Great. Uh, I can drop my phone number and my email, which is my preferred uh, means of contact in the, the chat. Okay. Thank you. 
and I'm not seeing that. Um, do I have to unshare the PowerPoint presentation to see that? Uh, Mary, can you tell me? Uh, I will uh, copy and paste it and I'll send it to you in an email. I can see it. Okay. There it is. I, I see it. Okay. Well, uh, communication is definitely not going to stop when this meeting ends, and uh, we'll be available to address concerns all the way through the project. Um, and you have my contact info. We got my phone number, my email. We'll have hangers that come out on the doors to give you the contractor's contact, and then our city inspector which is another uh, resource for you to uh, express concerns or, or bring up things that need to be addressed with the project. <clears throat> if there are no other questions, I guess we'll break. And uh, uh, Jonathan, I'll call you back here shortly. And Rachel, I'll uh, get back in touch with you next week. I do have one, one last question. This is Sadie Murray. Um, I'm also here with Glen Park Neighborhood Association and um, Tarrant Transit Alliance and that partnership. Uh, I was just wondering if, I know you mentioned that there are bus pads going in, but is there a commitment that you know of for those to be built out into complete bus stops with benches and, and shelters there? Um, I have contact with Trinity Metro that I could find out. Um, I'm not aware of that at this point, but um, they have asked us to add a few more bus pads than what we originally shown. And so we're looking into doing that. <clears throat> and um, I would just need to, uh, again, probably reach out to Trinity Metro and find out an answer next week and then circle back to you. Thank you, Charles. And is it possible to also get a list of which uh, exact bus stops will also be uh, given the uh, the bus pads as well? Uh, yes, it is. Yes, we can do that. Thank you. Sadie, would I be able to communicate back to you through Jonathan or do you have a different contact that you'd like me to use? I think it's fine through um, Jonathan and Rachel and I are all in, in communication on this project. Um, oh, OK. So OK. Yeah, I would. I thank you for your time and and for taking the time to answer our questions. Thank you. Of course, You're welcome. Well, if there's no other questions, I guess we'll convene and then uh, I'll be back in touch with y'all. Thank you so much. Okay. Have a nice day. Thank, thank you. All. you. Goodbye. Bye bye. Mm-hmm.